Hello everyone, welcome to Vision Learning. In today's video, we're going to uh, learn how to create an uh, image generator uh, web application using OpenAI API and Flask. You all already heard about uh, ChatGPT, and today we're going to dive uh, in how to use uh, OpenAI API for creating our own application. We will develop such application where, for example, we will give as an input our uh, image. And when we click on the get image, we will receive uh, through API our image and it will be printed uh, on Lysis. Yep, then let's get started. Uh, in the video's description, I will share with you also a GitHub repository of this project that you will find all of the necessary uh, files for running this uh, project in your, uh, in your machine. Okay, let's create firstly our Python virtual environment. For this project, we need some necessary folders and files. And I'm going to create it and explain to you step by step. That's it. We will use Flask based. Uh, we will create Flask based uh, web application. That's why we need a static folder and also, and also templates folders for our web application. Oh, okay, let's also activate our virtual environment. Okay. We need static folder where we will save our uh, CSS file. Let's create our main CSS file. And we also need HTML file on the application. Yep. And yeah. And we also need Python file for running our application. If you have repository in the templates, you will find index.html. I will explain you briefly. Uh, as you saw in the application, we need input text for describing our image and we need to submit uh, input for posting requests to the API. And we also will show the received image uh, in our application as well. And what is this image.png? Firstly, we will receive the image from API and also we will save it as im.png and we also uh, will call, will uh, show this image on in HTML uh, as well. Yeah. You can deep dive, uh, you can review the documentation of image generator as well, uh, which I will share this documentation as well with you, the link and yes, as you see in the API, what we need, we just need to describe what we want and we will receive in output the image we want. And right now, let's uh, start to write the code uh, how we, uh, to understand how we can do it. Uh, okay, our virtual environment installed and let's uh, install necessary libraries for this project. We need AI. Let's open the install of AI. And then we will need OpenCV as well for this project. 
Let's wait till it will finish. Okay, after that we will install OpenCV Python. Okay. One more we will use environment. successfully installed. Let's import our libraries, which is the process project. Import OpenAI. Flask, Flask, and that's what we will need. CV in here. In the OpenAI API, we will receive the image. We can receive this image as URL of image, but also we can receive it with base64 format. And we need to convert this base64 format to, uh, to the normal image format for showing on the HTML file. And that's why we will need OpenAI for for the uh, for first we will convert we, we will decode it using base sixty four and then uh, we will uh, we will receive uh, the bytes and we will convert it to the NumPy array and then we will uh, we will decode it to the image format. And we will save it using, uh, sorry, using OpenCV. And why we need dot environment for using OpenAI API? We need API key. I also share link with you uh, how to get this API key, which need, which has a link in here. You will go create account and create your API. API key and we and we will save this API key in dot environment and you will see that the, in your application there is open AI API key. and what we need we will receive the API key and you will paste this API key to here will not uh, show this part to you, but you will uh, generate by using, uh, you will be able to generate this by the link I shared with you and you will paste in here and we will continue this project. After pasting your, uh, your API key, you need to call environment and create our Flask application. And as 
you remember we had open AI API received our we initialized our open AI and we gave our API key and let's get our root for application. Our application, as you remember, when we give input, when we describe image, image as an input, uh, we will we, we need to send post request and by clicking the submit button. Uh, and when we click the submit button, we have we, we give the post request and we write so if we will receive post request. What we're gonna do is it's a text from input form, HTML form, and as you remember, uh, we give the name text, and that's why we we need to get text from the input, and let's get response from our API. To open AI dot image dot what we need to give to api in the documentation you will see we need prompt which describes the uh, image we want number of the image and the size of the image okay but what is our description prompt is equal we receive the text from text input that's why it will be our prompt number one and the size let's give 24 by 24 ah, sorry and 24 by 24 and we also need response format format as E64 JSON format. We will receive our image in B A64 form format. We received our response. Then what we need, we need to convert this response, this A64 to, to we need to decode this A64 format. And firstly, what we need is equal base 64 we will use base this ah, sorry base 64 decode we will decode our image our base 64 base image response we will get data and we need And we need a 64 receiving this we need to convert it to the numpy array for uh, for, for for describing it as an image and firstly we will uh, we will convert this uh, this by using uh, numpy from buffer function we will receive by this way one dimensional array and but we can't use it as a picture an image this array and because it's one dimensional and we need to uh, we need to an image we 
give as an input our decoded image and uh, base 64 decoded uh, bytes and we de describe it as 8-bit uh, integer. And what we're gonna do next is we will have an image and we will use CV2 image decode function for decoding image array. And we'll use CV2 read off. As I told you in here, we're gonna uh, need to save our image and also show the saved image. And it is the name of the image we want to, like, in, we want to save in this name. And what we're gonna do is we will save this image cv write as you see it is in the static folder and that's why what we're gonna do is Save it as as image. Let's save it as image dot png. And give us input our image. And what we will do else? We will return target. Saved our image, decoded image, and when we give post request, it will give us, uh, it will redirect us to the URL for index. And we also give us return and then template index. Let's check as well CSS. We forgot to add our CSS file content. Let's go to the static file and main CSS. For our project. Let's one more check out. We have dot environment file which contains our open AI key, open AI API key. Uh, and we give this, we received it from our environment, we received our requirements for text, we gave it to our API, we decoded this image and returned to our HD. Let's save it and use ask run. See. We have problem related to top environment. Let's check one more. Information. Maybe I did a mistake. Use all Python dot environment. Right now it should work. Okay. Let's one more run application. And yes. Okay, let's try our application. And because there is no uh, saved image, that's why we right now see it like that. Let's try something. Byte, um, book, and cat image. Click on get image button. And here we go. Our application works successfully right now. Let's try something else. For example, red car with
and here we are <laughs> received successfully our result i hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video